How's it going everyone? Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another week of The Grind. And today, we're getting blocked by T95. Uh, we are searching for our competent team. Uh, this is still the same uh, the same day for me, obviously. But um, we are searching for our competent team to see whether or not we can uh, get a good game and a win. Uh, we are still searching for the win. But uh, maybe we can get it in this game, right? Right? I mean, to be quite honest with you, I'm quite happy just sitting here. It's not really worth me pushing up, like, at all. Oh, look, there is a tiny pixel I can hear. I'm sure he's having so much fun. Uh, maybe I can actually push up. Uh, not not like super far or anything, but just the corner bit here. So that I could actually spot the, uh, the OPTA if he decides to peek again. Hmm. Um, right. Personally, love STRVs, don't you? Enemy armor is damaged. For goodness sake, man. I can't even see him. Good. Okay, well, I cannot use this position because there is this bush up the top that is blocking it. Lovely. I mean, on the plus side. Our team hasn't just, you know, disintegrated yet, which is good. Right, let's go down here, and we're going to try and cross. Oh, this is really not good, actually. I mean, I would track him, but, like, there's no point. I'm not going to be able to do damage at the same time. And I'm spotting him anyway. Or at least I'm getting part of the spotting. There we go. As long as I stay close, we should be okay. Man, that's pathetic. Why is it that the T95 can sit at the back of the map there and still snipe me down from here? I don't understand. Like, how? How How does Wargaming think that that is a good feature? Yes, that's a perfectly fine position. There's no issues. Okay. Well, yeah. Overpeak me more. And just take zero damage. There we go. I don't know. Another loss by the looks of things. Although, they're going to struggle to push anything. They're going to struggle to push this, like, out from uh, the 1-2 line. I don't know. Why is this VZ in the open? Exposed to literally everyone. What? I also really, really enjoy how the time that I pushed down was fine. And then all of a sudden, everyone died here. And there was no one behind me anymore. Very nice. Okay. Right. New game. We are now in Serene Coast. We're going to go to the left-hand side because there is no way I'm going C1. Um, I, by the time that I get there, I'll be dead. So that's going to be very fun. And realistically speaking, C1 is just an awful place to go. Um, yeah. Because even if you win it, you just get farmed from this side anyway. I mean, from the other side, it's not too bad, but like, it's still bad. Uh, no shot for me. 
Whereas at least from this side, you can have a hole down, you can actually have cover, you know, you can somewhat have support as well, as long as people come with you. This guy's going to try and cross. It goes high for no reason. Very nice. We do need to try and get into a position where we can farm though. This should be okay. We'll soon find out if there's any TDs at the back now. Appears to be at least one. If it's not a TD then it's something else. But. No, oh, there's a tortoise. Our team didn't even make it to C1. <laughs> Just shows how dumb C1 is. Please don't block. Go. What are you doing? I think this guy's out the fight, I think. So I should just be able to farm from this side. Maybe. Uh, I mean, we've already lost this game. It's literally already over. Nice weak spot. Uh, now we die. One more shot out. <laughs> what am I meant to do? There is nothing you can do in these games. I don't care how good you think you are. You cannot change the outcome of these games. Not in not in the tank that I am in. With the stock gun. <sighs> well, we're in another game. We are pushing an AMX 65T. Surely this will go better. And I am not going to cross. I'll just sit here for a second or two. Don't really need to push anywhere, so. I'm going to go back around and see if I can see anything from this side. Where did that go? Hmm. Didn't actually realise he could shoot me through that. I'm gonna go back. Yeah. The E-75 just fired. Enemy armor is damaged. Enemy is hit. Enemy armor is damaged. Critical hit. I'm just going to load gold. Oh, 
can't afford to be bouncing shells here. wasn't counting the shells that that TNH just fired, so I don't know if he's out of shells or not. Uh, this isn't horrible. Yet. I love how Arty can just loop shells over buildings, it's great. Oh, it's not like there was a green pen marker there or anything game, was it? Sake, man. How does that bounce? It was a green pen marker. Why do we still have a Grilla 15 that is sitting at the back of the map, not doing anything? It is not even looking into the city. What is this? Is he AFK? He's AFK. Oh, no, he's not. He's woken up now that an enemy has been detected. This has to be like a bot, right? This has to be like a bot program or something. Like, he's not shooting, like, or even looking at targets. Oh, he has line of sight, and now what? He's firing HU. I'm sorry, it just has to be a bot program or something. I refuse to believe that players are that stupid. Like, a human being can be that dumb. I refuse it. It has to be like a farming bot or something to just get XP or whatever. I mean, there was only a slight difference between our tier 10 and their tier 10. Only slight. I don't know. Like, I genuinely don't know. I've just been wasting my time. For these past six games. 1.8 thousand XP over three games. With boosters. Well, whatever. I mean, I've already said a million times that the matchmaking is broken and I need to fix it. And I don't know how they were going to fix it. But that is not up to us to decide. Anyway. So, yeah. 1.3k. 1.8k XP. Lovely. Another 0% win rate session. So, after another outstanding session... We have another 0% win rate and we made zero progress on the grind. So I've just wasted basically two hours of my life doing nothing. Either way, if you enjoyed this, and I don't know how you possibly would, um, then yeah, you know what to do. See you on the next one.